a question was asked about cheating and I want to address that um, pretty frankly if I can more than likely I'll say this more than likely if a person cheats on you especially if it involves uh, physical or sexual cheating um, more than likely it's time to let that relationship go um, especially if you all are not married marriage is a different thing when I'm talking about cheating I'm talking about in courtship or in dating because if the person is supposedly Christian and they went in the eye with the idea that they want to marry you huh, and they cheated on you that says a whole lot about what their desire to marry you means so I'm just gonna put it out there frankly very upfront right at the very beginning more than likely the relationship probably needs to end um, but um, I want to definitely share this as God has given it to me and not interject too much of my just personal opinion in there. So I'm going to read to you something that I wrote a while ago. Um, I hope that it's insightful. Should I stay or should I go? Cheating, or what I prefer to call unfaithfulness to a commitment, which actually brings more of the truth to light, often brings these questions to mind. Do I have the answers? No, I don't. So then, what will this address? Well, this will address a possible way to better handle unfaithfulness in a committed relationship. Let's be real. Cheating or unfaithfulness does not spring up out of nowhere. The desire and finally the act builds up over time. For some people, it is a lifestyle, cheating or unfaithfulness. For some of us, if we have paid close attention to the conduct of a person in other areas of his or her life, we would have known what to expect, especially if we pay attention to his or her relationship with God. So what now? Now that it's happened, well, first, make sure that the expectation of a committed relationship was established. Spiritual, mental, uh, emotional, and physical, make sure all that was established. There is more than one way to cheat or to be unfaithful. But only if the expectation of commitment, faithfulness in all areas was well addressed or discussed and or as clearly expected can one reasonably be, reasonably be disappointed with his or her significant other. Okay, again, now what? Well, if commitment and faithfulness was well discussed and the person broke his or her word, then his or her word is not good enough to continue in the relationship. Let me say that again. If the person broke his or her word that they would never cheat on you, then his or her word that they apologize or that they're sorry is not good enough to continue in a relationship. This is a simple idea, but often take it for granted or just flat out overlooked. His or her word was that he or she was committed to you, but when he or she was unfaithful, then his or her word lost its effectiveness or power. And so what makes you think that just a word or words restores the person to commitment? As sure as lips move, lips lie. <laughs> and many times the person is sincere, but that person does not have the power to keep his or her word. There's something deeper. Cheating, unfaithfulness reveals a deeper heart condition. There's a work to be done, and more times than not, inside a romantic relationship is not the place to handle this issue. His or her heart repair must not be about you. You cannot be his or her motivation. You can be a reminder, but you cannot be his or her motivation. Because when you stop motivating him or her, then you are at risk all over again to be cheated on or for that person to be unfaithful to you. This is too much responsibility for you, for one person to take on him or herself. But God is able. Here's my first recommendation. The couple needs space. The person who cheated needs time with God to work on the condition of his or her heart that allowed him or her to be unfaithful, not only to you, but to God. Because once you speak something, that word is to God also, not just to the person. The person who was cheated on needs time with God to heal from the pain 
and to be able to trust again and possibly trust that person again. See, some people do things in such a way that you won't have trust restored to that person. Trust is built up over time, especially once it's torn down. Recommendation number two. Do not try to maintain the same relationship. Romance can wait. The devil does not need a foothold in your relationship, which is the inability to, which the inability to trust can foster. The person who cheated needs time with God to recommit to the way of faithfulness with God, being the lone motivator of this desire. Not you, but God being the lone motivator of this desire. To be faithful to their word in word and deed and thought and action. Recommendation number three. Revisit the expectation of the relationship if you both choose to continue the romance. You've got to revisit that expectation. You've got to lay it out clearly. Trust me, God does not want your heart to be broken time and time and time again. God has given us his word so that we do not necessarily have to go through all these trials that we bring upon ourselves where our heart is broken. God doesn't want your heart to be broken. God wants you to be whole. He wants you to enjoy life. He wants you to be at peace. Nothing missing. Nothing broken. And we thank God certainly for that. There's certainly more to be said, but I don't want to make this video too long. Feel free to ask any questions, have any comments or concerns. I hope that this has helped you and I pray that it does help you. Um, your word may not be enough to recommit, but the word, Jesus Christ himself, is enough to recommit. So God has to speak to you in the midst of this. But as I said before, my personal opinion, and what I've seen time and time again, is once a person cheats on you, um, and they had a reason, and the reasonable expectation was unto marriage, it's time to let that thing go. Sometimes you only get one chance to love, so love well, love right, from the beginning all the way to the end. God bless you. I hope you have a great day ahead. <laughs>